Okay, now I will use this device, which is RT809F, I think, in here. You will see in the device itself. Listen here, RT809F. This is a BIOS programmer. It has got the HDMI and VGA connections. And also it has in here a USB connection towards the computer. Here is a button to test the monitors. If you connect the monitor through the VGA or HDMI, this, mon this uh, button will just change the colors on the screen. It will show you colors on the screen and when you press it, it will change the, the colors. Okay, now I will connect this device in my computer and I will put the BIOS chip on it and we will program it. Here we have in the box some adapters to connect. Okay, we have these three adapters. We will use one of them to connect the BIOS chip to the programmer and we have USB cable and VGA cable okay and we have other stuff like this zip holder zip socket and also we have this clamp so we can program the the chip by not removing it from the motherboard and other stuff okay now I will connect everything and I will show you how to program it okay now I have it connected to the computer as you can see this LED is on and this chip is connected to the device now I will show you how to program it let me just set this camera on here. Okay. We'll open the dedicated program for this device. Okay. Now what you need is to choose the BIOS manufacturer and the number. Okay, or you can just go and hit Smart Identify. Okay, now it has identified the BIOS chip, my BIOS chip, this one, correctly, and it is MX25L6405. What I need now is to back up the original BIOS program by pressing Read. This one now it is reading the original bin file from the ch uh, chip itself okay now it has successfully read the file and it is asking me for if I want to save it I will save it I have made uh, okay I write back up next to the name and then save it now what I need to do is just go and open a file open the bin file the new bin file this one and then write now it's a it's a, it is saying auto erasing and as you can see this uh, lead is flashing
now it starts writing the new bin file Okay, successfully programmed the bias chip.